Okay, so here is the inside. So this first Hi, Duvinistas, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel. Or as always, I welcome you back to my channel. So today's video, guys, is going to be something a little bit different. So if you have been following my channel, you know that I love to do faith journaling and crafting and things like that. And you know that I always have to incorporate some Dooney and Burke in anything that I do. So if you are interested in seeing what this video is all about, then you know what to do. Just keep on watching. So hold up, hold up, hold up. I am not pregnant. So do not get your mind going about that. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so here is the inspiration behind this cute little baby girl album. So in my faith group, I met some wonderful, wonderful women, and I was so, so blessed to come across a lady in my group that has been having trouble having a baby, and she and her husband just finally found out that they were pregnant about six months ago. I think she's about six months um, into it now, and I am so, so excited for her. So I thought that I would surprise her and make her a baby girl photo album so she can share all of the beautiful memories of her cute and blessed little baby girl in a couple of months. So how does Dooney and Burke come into this? So you guys know that I always find some type of Dooney and Burke inspiration when I do things like this. So first, let's just start off with a bag. That was my number one inspiration for creating this cute little album. So while creating this album, this was the first bag that came to mind when trying to decide on what colors I wanted to incorporate in the album. And this is my Dooney and Burke Florentine leather medium satchel in the color fuchsia. So this is a bag that I picked up from the sample cell a couple years ago. It has everything that a normal satchel has. It has all the pockets on the inside. It has all the, the trim. And I picked this up for a very, very good deal. It did come with a strap. And what made it a sample, I'm assuming, is that the strap was a little bit lighter than the bag. So anyway, this was the first inspiration for my cute little mini album. And this is my Dooney and Burke Florentine leather medium satchel in the color fuchsia. And again, this is marked a sample bag and they did make this in regular satchel so i'm assuming that it made the cut but this was just a sample so you guys this is an album that i made from scratch everything about it is homemade from the cover to the shell um, these of course are not homemade they are embellishments that i picked up from the craft store so for the cover, I thought that it was very, very cute to incorporate some flowers and some polka dots. And here in the front, I just have a little cutout that I made and put some flat back pearls around it just to kind of spice it up a little bit. And then I just put some little embellishments of a little bassinet and a star here. And then on the front, I have some embellishments here that spells out baby and they are pop-up. And then I just put a cute little flower here. And for the spine, I have this cute little duck, and you guys know that that is absolutely perfect for a Dooney Nista. So here is the front. 
and the back is just another string of flat back pearls that I put on just to embellish the back. So you guys, I am just so, so excited about this. This is the second album that I have made. The first one is an album for my daughter. She's actually going on a European trip this summer. She is going to Paris and uh, Barcelona, Spain, and a couple of other um, European cities that she's going to be visiting. So I made her one for her trip. So let's go on the inside of this beautiful, beautiful, cute little album. So for this first page, I made it all about the mommy. So what I did is I made some photo mats here where she can put photos. And here is another photo mat. And I just have a cute little background and I used my border punch to make a cute little pocket here. So on these photo mats, she can put her photos of her and the dad or photos of her during the pregnancy. And on the back, she can just do some journaling about the photo. And then here is just another photo mat. Again, she can do some journaling on the back or she can put more photos on the back. And or she can put a picture of the ultrasound here on the front. And then I just made a cute little infirmary piece that says sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. And then I just put some little shoes here on the top. I thought that was adorable. And then also I made just like a little card here where it has all of the baby's information, the name, the date of birth, the weight. And she can also put a cute little newborn photo here. Okay, so for page number two, this page is all about the little princess. So what I did on this page is I put some little pop-up stickers here that says baby girl. And I put a little bassinet here, which I thought was very, very cute. And this page opens out to some little flip-ups here. And I just took a little sticker here and put baby girl. And then these, she can actually put photos in or she can do some journaling about her newborn. And the same with this one. It's closed by Velcro. And then at the very top, I just have a little sticker that says welcome. And then I also have a photo mat here, a blinged out photo mat, where she can put a picture of the newborn baby girl. And she can also journal on the back about her experience. And here I just have it tucked in into a little cutout that I cut out of a piece of cardstock. And it is being held by a little stork. So this is page number one, the welcoming of the baby. Okay, so now we go on to one month, and this is a 12 month album. So on the very top, I have just a little sticker that says it's a girl. And then I have this cute little baby here that is holding the photo. And this is a photo mat where she can put a photo. And then I just have this stuck here. And this opens out like this where she can put a photo. And it also opens out this way where she can put photos or journaling cards or anything that she would want about her new little baby. Okay, so for month two, I just have this cute little baby here that is holding with her feet. Um, just a little space here where she can put a photo here. And then also under the two month little disc right there, she can put another photo. And then I just have a cute little rattle here. And this page also opens out here where she can put some more photos here as well as on this big space. And all these pages 
in between has a photo mat here where she can take out and she can put photos on these as well on the front and the back okay so here is month number three and for month number three I have a little fold out here that I made a little trifold and she can take and she can put photos in here and then I also made just another little card here that says, You Are My Sun, My Moon, and All of My Stars by E.E. E. Cummings. And then also some photo mats here where she can put photos. Okay, and this is one of my favorite pages. This is the four month page. And it has a little sticker here that says, so cute. And then I have a photo mat here that's being held by this cute little girl in a bucket with her little bottle. So she can use this to put photos on and then journal on the back or put photos on the back. And this page also opens out to where she can put photos on either side. Okay, so for month number five, my bag inspiration is my Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Medium Satchel in the color Aqua. And I know blues is normally for boys, but I thought that I would incorporate some blues in there just to kind of give it a little bit of a twist. And what I love about this bag is the red zipper. I think it gives the bag a nice pop of color. Absolutely beautiful. So again, this is the Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Satchel in the color Aqua. Okay, so now let's move on to month number five. And month number five is one of my favorite spreads as well. On the front here, I have just a little pop-up sticker that says Sweet Baby Girl. And then I have a little cutout of a little baby and I put a bottle in her hand. And inside of the ribbon, you open it up and then this is held by Velcro and then there are some photo mats in here where she can put photos or she can do some journaling. So one of my favorite pages. All of the pages has a photo mat that is sandwiched in between each page here. Okay, so this is one of my favorite pages. First of all, I love the little elephants here. Absolutely adorable. So for the six month page, I made like a little waterfall where she can put multiple photos inside. And I have a little pull tab with a little onesie that says so tiny. So she can pull out her photos here and have like a little mini slideshow. So I think that that is just so so cute for month number seven I have a little tag here that I made and I put just a little ribbon on top and then I made another little blinged out mat here that says you are so special to me and then this is just a photo mat where she can put a four by six photo or multiple photos so these just fit back in like this and then this is with a magnetic closure. I put a cute little baby crawling on the front because I think around seven months babies start crawling. I haven't had a baby in so long until I don't remember. But then I put a little pacifier in her hand and then here she can either journal or she can put photos. Okay, so for month number eight, another very simple page. I have a cute little baby here that is holding where she can put a photo. So it fits right under the baby's arms like that. And then I just made a little tag 
or a little bookmark that she can use and put maybe like a little small picture of the baby on here. So very, very simple page. And month number nine is another simple page. And what I did with this one is I made a little gatefold where it opens up like this. And then she can put photos here and here. And then this just closes back up like this. Okay, so for month number 10, I cut out a little cute little baby here that I downloaded from the internet. And then this is just another little cute little tag that she can use as a bookmark or just as for decorations in the book. And in this little accordion here, I just made like some photo mats here where she can put photos. Here, or she can um, journal whatever she'd like to do and this just ties back up and let's go on to month number 11 here is month number 11 and I just created a little closure here using a brad and just a little cutout and then it, and it opens up like this where she can put some photos and then it folds down here and then on the inside, I just have some more photo mats here where she can put photos or journaling. And I just put some cute little socks here and then just a little crown on this one. And then these just fit in here like this. And then this is how this closes back up. And then here is month number 12, another very simple page. So this is just a used as a closure. I have these little pop-up owls here that are used to just close this accordion here because this is an accordion. So I have another photo mat here. And then I have a cute little baby because I think at 12 months, babies start to walk and stand on their own. So here she can put photos or some journaling or anything that she'd like there. So then this just tucks there. And then again, this is the closure. So I just close it down like that. So now let me share with you my next bag of inspiration. Hey guys, so my next bag of inspiration is my Dooney and Burke Pebbled Leather Chelsea Shopper in the color Mint. Absolutely love this color, especially with the Sierra Leather trim. I think it is a beautiful combination. Absolutely beautiful bag, great for travel. Great for those who work in an office and need to carry file folders or a small laptop. So again, this is the Dooney and Burke Chelsea Shopper in the color mint. Okay guys, so my favorite, favorite pages of the book are the one year birthday pages. So here is the one year birthday pages all blinged out. So basically here I have a cute little pop-up sticker with balloons that says the number one. I have some flat back pearls here. And I also have another little pop-up that says big little girl. And I have a happy birthday accordion here on the front. And this opens up and then this opens up like this. So we have here where she can put photos or she can just put a big photo here in the middle and then just keep the rest for decoration like this. One of my favorite pages. I had so, so much fun creating this page because all I could think about was a one-year-old little baby. I remember when my, my granddaughter was one, so I know how special that is. And then this is a continuation of 
the first birthday this is where the mom can put a picture of the birthday girl here at her birthday party and it just says my first birthday the big one a little pop-up cake and then here I thought this was cute it says it's my party I'll cry if I want to and you know how some babies most babies when they don't know what's going on there's too much action you know they start to cry so hopefully she can get a cute little picture of her crying and make this memorable so anyway guys I just wanted to quickly share with you um, something that I am very very proud of and that I am just so honored to be able to make for my dear friend that I just met maybe a couple years ago in my faith group and I am so so excited for her husband uh, for she and her husband and so I really really had fun creating this cute little album so one last thing this album is also inspired by a very very crafty youtuber here her name is Kelly and I will put her information below so this album was a play on an album that she made very very similar to this one so anyway guys thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.